I love my community. Black excellence, that's what you do to me. Positive vibrations. I'm a god, no Satan. I'm a god. I was raised with the killers. But my plan is to heal ya. I'ma heal ya. Intellectual mind frame. Check it out. I'm a player, so I peep game. It's about to get real deep. It's about to get real critical. You know, uh, first and foremost, I want to say before this, before I get into the uh, topic, this is in no shape, form, or fashion to disrespect nobody. You know, it's more about awareness and just staying out the way and living your best life and not doing something to get you into something that you can't get out of. So, I shared this story the other day with one of my partners, and he told me, you should share that. And I'm going to say it real discreet, how I'm, how I'm uh, going to spit it out to y'all, for lack of better words. So, many moons ago, I had an incident where, unfortunately, I had to go uh, sit down in jail I'm not going to say no no people's names and hoods and things of that nature I'm just going to say discreet things to protect and respect people so I went to uh, LA County Jail Twin Towers to be specific I was going through my own drama dealing with a case and whatnot. late night they shipped me over to this big old, like, uh, dorm, right? But it was like a holding tank dorm. It, 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 I was waiting. Me and, like, I think it was, like, four or five of us. We came in late from court and all that. And uh, they was taking some of us uh, little by little to, to other areas, whatever. We sitting there waiting, though. So... And this is the old county, you know, with the big rats and all that kind of crap he had. This youngster come in. And he looked kind of sad or whatnot. So I'm sitting there. I'm just chilling, whatever. He come over to me. And we start chopping it up. As we chopping it up, I said, what's wrong? Because the little dude, he was a little, he's a little fragile little dude. He was, he, you know. He needed to do, he needed to do some push-ups. You know, he needed to get his mind together up in that in that in that terrible place. So I'm like, what's going on with you, man? Cause he he started crying and he explained to me his case. He like, man, I'm facing life and you know, they trying to uh, they trying to get me all day. So I'm like, damn, what did you do? You smoked somebody? That's just my normal reaction because life, right? He like, yeah, man, I, uh, yeah, man, I put in some work, woo -woo -woo -woo. so I told him, you know, I, I said, damn, and then he told me where he was from, and I'm like, oh, yeah, shit, okay, so then I'm like, hey, man, I mean, I said, look, bro, you out here game banging, right, he said, yeah, I said, you put in work for your hood, right, that's what you was out there doing, that's why you you went and smashed, and that's why you up in here now. Unfortunately, you got caught. He's like, yeah. I said, not like that, bro. I'm in here for something I didn't even really do to be 1,000, and I'm not crying, and I'm real mad. But you did something, and you're in here, and I know you're you facing some time, but you did it. And you put it in work for your hood. This is what you want to do. This is your, you want a reputation. You want to look hard or whatever the case may be. I tried my best to explain to him, like, this is part of the game that, that you chose to be involved with when you decide I want to bang or whatnot, you know? I said, you're not in here for trying to hustle up some money to feed your family or something like that. You in here because you want to smash. You wanted a reputation. And you got it, but you got it with the biggest consequence in the world. So he's like, I know, man, and woo-woo. And I'm looking at him. I'm like, damn, that's a little dude, man. Then I'm like, look, bro, just just chill, bro. You know, just just relax. Calm your nerves. You know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to just like 
tell him some encouraging words because he was like all messed up. He was all over the place. <sighs> so unfortunately, probably 30 minutes later, two grimy dudes come in. One of them, one of them, he one of them scandalous dark skinned brothers, tats all in his face. You can hardly even see his tats because he was so dark, but you can tell he was tatted in his face because you see you could see the imprints, but you couldn't see it real good like that. He had another light skinned cat with him, scandalous, blasted everywhere. They're from the same hood. They come around, holler at everybody, you know, bang on everybody, do all that shit they do. Next thing you know. I'm like, oh, they finna act. Cause I heard them. I'm like, oh, they from the same hood as old boy, but they from a different section. So I'm like, oh, damn, they finna ask this little nigga. So I'm like, damn. They get to him. So they get to him. They ask him. They are like, oh, you from the hood? Woo -de -woo -de -woo. But he's from a different crew. But he is from the hood, you know, a different section or whatever. But they, they're from the same organization, the same family, the same crew, the same tribe. You understand my lingo? So. I'm like, damn. So, boom, after that, they get on him about the whole crying thing. Like, nigga, you crying? And woo -woo. You in here for putting in work for the set? And woo -woo -woo -woo. What you crying for? They own him. They telling him the same thing I told him, but they aggressive with it. Because they feeling like, why are you, you know, whining and all that? So, I'm like, Naturally, in the back of my head, I'm like, this is not good. Because they was on his bumper. I'm like, damn. I felt bad for the little dude. But I couldn't get in their politics. That's their hood politics. I couldn't even say nothing. Like, man, start a little nigga out. I, that they, you know, that's out of my control. I'm like, damn, man. Fuck. <sighs> I need some scandalous brothers. <laughs> These brothers were scandalous. I'm talking about, woo. They probably been in and out of jail. And they was just scandalous, homie. I was just like, these, boy, these, like, they was on him so much. They was like, I want the fire on them. But I'm like, I can't do that. This ain't my, this ain't my business. You know what I'm saying? It was one of them, them situations where it was just like, damn, you know. And I met a lot of dudes like that I felt sorry for in jail because it be dudes taking advantage of dudes because they smarter. They want to fight the next dude because he little than somebody bigger or somebody that they know not, not that's going to run their fate. They not going to want to get out with them because nobody wants to get beat up in jail. And that's like the worst thing. But somebody has to lose the fight. That's just the moral of the story. But nobody wants to get beat up. And if they feel you can beat them up, they'll go pick on somebody else for a lack of better words because they feel they can win the battle, if that makes sense. That's how messed up that place is. It's like a it's like, like some bully stuff, you know. So, they take him up out of there. They own him. Whoa, they, they own him. They like, they fired up. They snatch him up out of there. They walk up, they go away. They go to this other side by the sales, more where the sales was at, like way down. You got to turn and whatever. So, I'm just sitting there chilling at this point. A couple other cats, they had left and, you know, went to where they was going. It was me and a couple more cats in there. And then, uh, we, I'm, like I said, we waiting on the chain. We finna go to Wayside. I'm waiting to get transferred to Wayside. I, I didn't end up getting transferred till the next day. Like, it was already late at this moment. It's like probably three in the morning. I didn't get transferred till like six in the morning. You know, it, the sun came back out by the time we caught the chain and shot back, back up that way. But in the midst of that, now, like I said, it's about three in the morning. I'm just chilling, thinking, just, you know, just like, man, it's quiet, like quiet out of nowhere. I didn't see this happen, but I know what I heard. It was horrible. It was horrible. I promise you it was horrible. It sound like I just heard boom, boom, boom. Like they was, it sound like this, like me being the conscious person I am. It sounded like they was hitting dude in his ribs, and it had to be that young brother because the way they acted with him, they was messed up in the head, and the and where he was from, and the things that he he and, and all that. Just unfortunately, I could tell they went to take advantage of him for lack of better words. 
to show him not to be a punk, you know, and that's that's not cool. I don't condone that. I don't think I think I think old fashioned. If I got somebody that's doing something that I don't like, worst case scenario, and a lot of people do this, you DP one of your partners, or you know what I'm saying, or you dis you know you discipline them some other way if you don't want to beat them up. But they did the other way of disciplining them. I know what I heard, man. It was terrible. It sounded like they was hitting him in his ribs, boom, boom, because the dude was like. Mm, mm, mm. Like he was getting socked like hard, and they was and, and and the way it sounded, it was them two brothers. They was jumping him, and like one of them was probably on top of him, and the other one was. It sounded like they put a pillow over his head because his mouth was like kind of muffled, and it was like he was trying to yell. It was it was terrible. He was trying to yell because you could hear like no 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 stop 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 stop. And I remember dude voice. You know what I'm saying? I remember how he how he talked and sounded because I was talking to the young brother. No 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 man no 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 stop man. Mm, 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 mm. It sounded like they was like hitting him in his ribs, and then it sounded like they was putting a pillow over his head to like shut him up. And it sounded like you know they had his, their hands over their mouth, just different stuff. It sounded like they was just like trying to shut him up, but he was it was coming out, but it wasn't. It was like you know what I'm saying. It was like a mixture of the two. And mm, 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 no no no. Mm, mm, mm. Then it just sounded like. It, it was horrible. I hate even demonstrating this because it brings me back to that moment. I was like, what the? I remember thinking like, what the fuck? Y'all niggas really doing that? And I was like, oh, I, I felt I felt horrible for the little dude. Then it was like, mm, 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 mm. the way it sounded, I'm, I can't even do all the details like that, but I remember vividly in my brain. It was like they went up in him and they start serving him. Like they start penetrating, for lack of better words. Like they start mess like they start, you know, taking advantage of the brother. That's all I'ma say. You know, they it sounded horrible, man. I was like, and it wasn't long. It was for like it was for like a minute or two, but it was like a long minute or two. You know what I mean? Because the first, like I said, it was you could hear him hitting him like they was trying to shut him up and he was hollering. And he was, and then everybody, it was just quiet. Like where I was at was quiet because I'm like in some waiting room type thing, but it's secluded. And then it's like over there was the sales. And even over there, it was like, because it was real late. I'm pretty sure some other people was up too. And then a lot of people were asleep. But you know, they, I know they heard it because I heard it. I was just up. Because some people just be up. You don't, can't get no sleep or whatever you're thinking, whatever the case is. And it, it was it was horrible, man. It was, it was horrible. They they took advantage of that little dude. And I, I tell you, man, that I, all I remember thinking was like, y'all really going to do this to him? He from your hood. And on top of that, I know he's scared. I guess they was trying to like, they just took advantage of him. Like, he's scared. We going to, unfortunately, the way, and I've heard this from OGs and talked to many people. What some people do is they feel like, oh, you want to act like a a B I T C H, like a female. We're gonna treat you like one, and you're gonna be one. And that's how some cats get turned out. Some people don't get turned out; they just get taken advantage of. But then some of them dudes, they end up. You see them again; they have a a, a skirt on, a little shirt with the with the tie in the, at the top in the middle, like a female lipstick. They look. They look messed up, man. Like, ah, dudes, are, I didn't, that dude, I didn't see that happen to him. I'm just saying in general, you would, you would see people like, damn, they turned him out or, or, or that dude, are you, or you here just already be like that when you see him. And then you might hear somebody else like, yeah, he came in here normal and he just out here. He's a girl. He's like, they, he, they, he, they B I T C H. He, they P U N K. Like, or he his P U N K and people tossing him around all around the place and or one individual got him and you know I've heard stories from other cats I talked to and they man I met this dude he came in there he was cool next thing you know he they tell me he on the yard and he up in here serving people like it get it gets oh man it gets terrible but I just remember man thinking like ah oh, that was. It was nothing I could do. It was like one of them situations like, damn, they really going to mess up they homie like that. 
they messed him up. Like, I don't, I never seen him again. I don't know if he ended up turning out to be uh, one of they, one of they things, or if they just did that to him for that day. And some people, they end up turning that way after that. Some people, they just be messed up in the head after that. They can't talk to no woman. They can't have no, they don't want to be with no female. If they do, they, they just messed up. That stuff really messes people up when people do that. I don't think they understand the trauma they put somebody through. Because I've seen people, and I've talked to people. Even people that didn't have been in jail, I've talked to people. Like, I asked some questions. How did you become like this? And they said, oh, I was. I, I used to get molested when I was younger. I used to get raped by my uncle. They People would tell me, I'd be like, damn. Females and males. Oh, I used to get raped. Or oh, I used to, this used to happen. And then... They start liking it or they think that's normal and they some of them don't even like it, but they it's like it's messed up, man. So I always respect people because you never know how somebody turned out to be what they are. Sometimes it's it's a un, it's sometimes it's a it's a it's a way they got into that life or that that uh I don't even know how to explain it really. It just so it just they get put into that position and be that way by mistake low key like it's not even like they really chose to do it you know there's some people they just that's what they want to do so it just depends you know but my message for that is if you a young little if you a young cat really anybody but if you a young cat you know you ain't you you 150 pounds soaking wet stay out of trouble don't look you if your homies want you to smoke somebody do something Tell them you if you already started game banging and stuff. Tell them I want to be the player from the hood. If they don't want you to do that, unless that's what you into, if you into going out there busting on everybody, you ready to handle all the consequences? Do you? I, I'm not going to encourage you to do nothing negative, but do you? But if you know you're not really like that, and your homies don't ex respect you for that, stay away from them. Whether you got put on the hood or not, or you want to be involved, stay away. Move or just. Just stay away from them some way, somehow. If, you, if you're in the area and you can't really move like that, just let them talk about you. Because everybody's not meant to do certain things. Some people are just players. Some people is hustlers. Some people is killers. Some people is a little bit of everything. Be you at all times. That's my, that's my, that's my advice. Be you. I don't do stuff I don't know I'm not into. Me personally, I've done a lot of things that I know I shouldn't like them. I should have did that. I'm, you know, this and that. But as you grow, you and you get older, you learn. Man, I, hey, homie, I ain't doing. I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing this. And then you got to be aggressive. And the people like it, tell them don't, don't fuck with me then. And if it get too out of control, find them. You know, or whatever. I'm, you know, I'm not trying to be negative, but just don't do nothing you're not into. You get put up in them situations in that 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 hell hole that they call jail, and then it's too late. It's it's all messed up and it's terrible in there. Cause you got all these people politicking, you know, and people are turning your back on you. They'll turn their back on you. Maybe somebody that's supposed to be from your community, they'll turn their back on you and do something foul to you. You'd be like, damn, you supposed to be on my side. You you feel me? You acting like a op. So always be yourself, man. Stay out of trouble, you know. And if you do in trouble, just be in, just be, just be with it, because they got some crazy individuals <laughs> that they mind is like not normal, and they don't think, they don't think they, they don't think they G A Y for doing that. They they think they did something to you, like yeah, he he a buster, he he a punk. That's why I did that to him. Yeah, he a B I T C H. They don't think that they're bi or anything like that. They don't think they're that way, but they're doing those type of activities, which in my opinion, if you do that, I don't care if you're doing it for disciplinary actions or whatever, that's not normal, homie. You are, yeah, you're that way. And they be having wives and baby mamas and all that. You'd be surprised. Some of these cats is, they have a whole family. <sighs> Just, just be you, man. Stay out the way. 
And if you know a young dude that's doing stuff like that, and you know they not that way, tell them, hey, bro, chill out. I don't want you to... I had a homie I had to tell, like, hey, I don't want you going to that place because I don't know if you can handle some of them suckers that's in there. There's some scandalous suckers up in there, man. You, man, I'm not saying you a buster. It's just, it's some scandalous people up in there. Man, I wish everybody the best. Hopefully I, hopefully I explained this story the best I could because it's real touchy for me to try to explain it. I could sit here for for a whole hour trying to explain it. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, man, I hope everybody out there have a blessed day. Stay humble, stay safe, stay positive. Put your family and God first. That's what counts. And love yourself. Other than that, thank you for tapping in. If you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And let God be with you all the time. One love. Peace. What it do, what it do, y'all. Thank you for tapping in, ladies and gentlemen, with your folks. Peace and blessings to the most high.